This time next year, I hope the virus is in check and the American spirit is unleashed and that we're not fearing, but hoping again. Unity in our country, this is what I hope to see next year. I hope we've chosen community over chaos. We've chosen unity over division and we've chosen love over hate. I believe that America will have faced its darkest moment and will have come out better. America will be coming together, not splintering apart. No more, no more pain. This time next year, I hope that we will have a government that is accountable to us, that guarantees health care as a human right. The promise of America will be restored for all our communities, all our families, for all of us. And when I say all of us, quiero decir todas nuestras familias. I am confident that this time next year, we will have a president who provides this country with real leadership, not just tweets. This time next year, I hope we are listening less to the Russians and more to Dr. Fauci. I hope we all get back to work. There'll be two Americans who I will be happy to say are unemployed, Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump. This time next year, I hope that all Americans, whether they are Democrats or independents or Republicans, will be proud of their president, will be proud of their vice president. And that our recovery is truly people up, families up, and communities up. That people believe they have a government that is working for them, that's out there every day doing its best for them. I want to see a president of the United States who can look a trans woman in the eye and tell her her rights are worth protecting. I hope America has a president who champions the rights of all young women and girls. This time next year, I want a president who understands what military families need. Who cares about the rights and lives of disabled people. We'll care about our environment again. We'll have passed comprehensive immigration reform. I hope we have a president who honors treaty rights and tribal sovereignty. A year from now, I want to see the kids playing on the playground. I take pride in my job and helping our customers. But next year, I want to do it without wearing a mask or gloves. I hope that we are all celebrating landmark legislation that the Biden-Harris administration have shepherded through Congress and signed into law. This time next year, parents will again be able to look forward to the day where we can send our children to school without fear of gun violence. This time next year. This time next year. This time next year. This time next year. I hope that this country realizes that we have, in fact, reclaimed the soul of America. This time next year, I hope and pray that America will have restored democracy to the world. We recommit ourselves to come together, one nation, under God. One nation, under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. This time next year, I want to see Joe Biden in the Oval Office.